courtesy of WJHL. When you go down and take a knee or any other way, you're sitting. By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail. Of a team located in Des Moines, Iowa. You have to stand proudly for the national anthem. Well, you shouldn't be playing. You shouldn't be there. Maybe you shouldn't be in the country. At the twilight's last at Roosevelt High School in the Hawkeye State. And I think it's very disrespectful to our flag and to our country. A lot of diversity and uh, a lot of uh, people of color and we're just trying to show our appreciation and, uh, and uh, just like it's about social justice. Speaking is Roosevelt senior Jaden Singleton. As local news put it, Jaden's school is one of the most diverse in the Hawkeye State. These high schoolers get it, unlike a certain someone who clings to a far far different tone. Disclaiming about the flag and the country. They have to respect our flag and they have to respect our country. As The Hill wrote, the demonstration by the high school team comes as a debate over whether professional athletes should be allowed to kneel during the national anthem to protest police treatment of people of color and racial inequality has reignited nationwide following the death of George Floyd, an unarmed black man in police custody. We, the National Football League, admit we were wrong for not listening to NFL players earlier. A point that is now mute by the NFL's commissioner, Roger Goodell. And encourage all to speak out and peacefully protest. Even if he followed Trump's orders better late than never. It's police brutality. It's the whole reason Colin Kaepernick started kneeling in the first place. Cops are getting paid leave for killing people. That's not right. And why so many are taking a knee across the country, because these atrocities continue to happen without rhyme or reason. In Iowa, Des Moines Roosevelt Activities Manager Tracy Johnson told WHO 13 he supports the team's decision to kneel during the anthem. It made me feel good because our kids are in it together, said Johnson. We want those kids to be able to express themselves, and it was neat for us to see all of our kids do that. If we had some standing, some uh, kneeling, it's not as big of a deal, but to show that our whole team came together and uh, uh, kneeled, it, it, I think it makes a very big impact. Spot on from fellow senior Alex Pendergrass. A great example by these future leaders, many are looking to how the sports world will react in wake of countless lives lost at the hands of police. What this shows to me personally is from rural city to city life, everyone must be in it together. It does not matter where one comes from, solidarity is key. To show that our whole team came together and kneeled, I think it makes a very big impact, Pendergrass said. And here's the thing, Roosevelt is not done. The school's softball team took a knee as well. Kudos to all for expressing their First Amendment rights and making their voices heard. If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com Rick.